eco-friendly, skin-friendly, pocket-friendly. You can have a total bath experience with Sensational Touch. Click the link in the description box below. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Kamishida's Corner. I am Kamishida. This is my corner. And as you can see, I'm cutting some more soap. This is my peppermint patty soap. Let's put it like this so you can see. That'd be nice. My peppermint patty soap that I will be cutting. And I'm going to show you also my carrot and clay soap, which I'm a little disappointed because it started to harden up on me. And well, you'll see that a little later. So I'm sitting here, of course, watching my YouTube channels and um, doing what I do. Cutting soap. I need to finish getting this order ready that I need to ship out tomorrow for my girlfriend Cheryl. She ordered some soap. Oh, you know what? Did I say peppermint patty? I said peppermint patty show. This is not peppermint patty. I already, <laughs> I already um, cut that one. This is my green tea cucumber. And this is the one where I attempted to do a pencil line that was similar in color to the top and the bottom, but um, a little bit lighter on the top. And I did not keep enough soap left over to make the top portion a significant amount of thickness and it was really really thin so I'm not sure what this is going to look like once I get it all cut but we shall see um, I'm hoping the pencil line at least still shows decently but it was not as big as I would have wanted it to be so that was a little uh oh, wait. Okay, here we go. That was a little bit disappointing. Not too much, but a little bit. But that's soap. And this is green tea cucumber, which is up. Oh, pencil line is not too bad. I know parts of it started to pull up when I was doing the texturing the top. Some of the pencil lines started to pull up, so you can see a little bit of that. Well, the pencil line came out pretty good. I'm not disappointed with that. You can see where it did a little bit of pulling up. Which, uh, it's okay. It's not too bad. Some of it is straight. Some of it is not. I like the straight look, but I also like the wavy look. I like when it kind of looks a little wavy. Which, I'm um, not disappointed in that. And I don't know what I'm watching right now. I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers, but now I don't know what this is. This looks like Bobby Brown. Okay, wait. Turn that off. All right, that was new edition <laughs> with Bobby Brown. I don't mind the commentary, but you know we all know we don't want the music playing because that'll be a problem. All right. So this is my cucumber green tea cucumber pencil line soap. I really like that pencil line look. I have to do that more often because it's it's not hard to do and it's quite pretty I, I, I like that I would have wanted a little bit thicker but um that's the back portion but um it actually came out nice the way it is I don't mind all right so I have two more to do so this that end piece the back part will stay on this end piece the back part I'm going to trim off so we'll really only have one end piece, true, true end piece. All right. So I have a whole bunch of these little slivers that some lucky body will be able to get some samples. I'm going to be using those as samples. All right. So as soon as I finish with this, I'm going to show you <laughs> It's the last one my carrot soap now let me show you this was very interesting because it started to seize up a bit on me 
and I tried to get it down into you can see all the holes and the gaps regardless I did bang it down but it still got a lot of holes gaps and folds so over here it didn't get down into the corner at all so I'm going to cut this up the bars that look decent I will sell and the rest I will probably just keep for myself and of course my friends and family and I will more than likely be making more of this soap because carrot and clay is a really good excellent um, facial soap it has a wonderful carrot seed scent so it was it was really it's a nice fragrance I mean I don't know if you've ever smelled a carrot and can you imagine a fragrance oil with the same scent or a similar scent as a carrot it's really nice I like it and to bathe with that it's like a nice a bit of a fresh scent look this piece there it has a bit of freshness to it the smell so if there's any decent slices in between here the edges definitely I wouldn't sell that if there are any decent ones in between then I will sell those if not then this will just be a bar for me and my sister fam so you can see, it looks like it might have a couple of bars in there that's decent. Let me get another paper towel. Alrighty, put this over there. So, see like some of them are decent. It's not like this gigantic holes in the middle. There's a, oops, <laughs> a little bit of bunching on the side where you can see. But, um, not too bad. So, I'm okay about you know allowing these ones like this one hmm, it's a little bit of a hole there so I would definitely put that aside for myself but if it doesn't have like a dent like that just have a couple of folds that'll be fine and actually hmm, well this side is a little bit deep um, if it's not too too bad and it's just a little deep I may just discount it we'll see it's nothing wrong with the soap. It's just more of an aesthetic thing. You got a little dent there. Some dents on this side. But it's not too bad. Some folds on this side. Nothing over here. Some of this can even be shaved down. But that'll just make the bar smaller. Which to me it doesn't make sense. Because it's soap. And yes it's nice to have soap that looks beautiful and pretty. And pristine. But it's handmade. It gives it personality. And while I know the aesthetics is nice, I'm more about the functionality of the soap. You see, you got a little piece missing there. So, you know, we'll do our best and we'll see what we're going to do with some of these bars. Should be able to sell with no problem. And others, of course, I'll keep for myself like these end pieces. It doesn't make sense. I mean, some soapers will cut that off, make it look a lot nicer. And, um, you know, they clean up what they call cleaning up their bars where they um, make the edges look really nice and very presentable for selling. And there, there's there's something to that. It's, it's, a, it's nothing wrong with it. But there's also, like, a, a non-necessity -necess to it, too. But um, I understand it because, you know, people are visual and people like, you know, like I, I might give this away as a sample so that people can at least try it because, um, you know, that's not fine getting a sample. But um, yeah, people are aesthetic. So having something with a big chunk off, I wouldn't sell that. These are bars that 